When we first walked into the audition, um, you know, we saw little Susie at the front of the class. Um, and it's a little intimidating because she obviously has that Martha Graham presence. She was very focused on making sure that we each had our personality and it made it a lot more comfortable. I was nervous, but I was also enjoying myself. It wasn't super extraordinary and fast and hard, but it was very particular and precise. And so trying to catch that and do that was interesting, but it was enjoyable. Although it was a huge cast, I still was like, ooh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. I really hope I do. But it was really exciting and rewarding to find out that I did get accepted to be part of the piece. During the audition process, we cast 33 people and five understudies. And I spoke with the artistic director of the Martha Graham Dance Company, Janet Alber, and she said it's okay to put in more dancers if they are capable. So we have in our cast 38 dancers uh, in the cast of Panorama, and that is very exciting for me because I have never worked with such a big cast on this particular piece. We got here two weeks ago and we began rehearsing at Barker with the students, so we got to meet everyone and we're taking class every day and these students haven't had Graham, um, so they're getting used to that. And then also getting used to the piece and learning how to uh, work with a technique and a piece that they haven't worked with before and it's been great. Uh, this was a very exciting experience for me because these dancers at the University of Minnesota have never taken Graham technique before. And I was able to teach them in two and a half weeks, uh, give a little bit of the technique, give them a taste of the choreography, uh, but primarily the goal was to let them embrace the physicality and the emotional context of what this piece is all about. So every day we were training in Graham Technique with Susan, so instead of our normal modern classes, we would take a class with her um, so we could really dive into the Graham Technique and what her work is about. Uh, so then after an hour and a half class with Susan, we would go into two and a half hour rehearsal uh, every day, six days a week. Uh, and basically we were just learning the piece as it was. So we would watch film, we would uh, break out into our groups. We drilled a lot because <laughs> there's a lot of really hard counting and um, challenging travel patterns that we had to work through. Uh, and it was just that intensive process for three weeks and after three weeks we hit the stage. The rehearsal experience has been uh, amazing, you know, first and foremost. A lot of hard work, you know, we come in here every day and we leave uh, pretty exhausted, but I don't think anybody would have it any other way. So far, the residency experience has been really exciting. It's very fast paced, but it's very rewarding. Taking the Graham classes every day has been very helpful and very nice to have since we don't usually have it here at the U. It really just, it puts it in perspective for me, like thinking it's 80 years old, um, it's just unbelievable to like think about all the people that have done this piece and like the choreography has been the same and like Graham technique like it's it's really such a legacy to be a part of. My favorite part about the Graham residency was knowing that the work that we were doing was so important and being able to be a part of that because Panorama has such a history um, with being set on students over and over again throughout its course of time. I think being able to have that at the university while here was a tremendous opportunity. My favorite moment uh, working with this panorama project was here at the Northrop Auditorium a few days ago when even though the students only had sneakers on, we, it, we were able to go on stage and do a full run of Panorama, and it was very exciting. So I'm hopeful the dancers are going to take it to a next level when it comes to the performance, and that they will make magic happen on stage. I want to say a personal thank you to Susie Kikuchi and her daughter, Cassie. Um, they were tremendous people to work with. They had such an energy and finesse about them, but they really got us as students to tap into that freedom that comes with being in an ensemble, as ironic as that sounds, but they really push our individuality um, in a group setting. And I think that is so beautiful because 
it's not often that you dance with 33 people on stage, but you find your own artistic voice and contribution to that process. So thanks to Susie and Cassie for helping us find that. And then also thank you to the Graham Company for sharing with us their artistry during the weekends of performances because they were truly, truly talented movers and people. And being able to share the stage with them was such an awesome opportunity. Waiting in the wings backstage um, because you could just feel the energy and the excitement growing. Um, the Graham Company was standing there and there to support us and watch us and encouraging us. My favorite part about performing on the Carlson Family stage was the idea of performing on a stage that so many greats have been on. Um, I just think having all of our friends and family and coworkers out in the audience supporting us was so wonderful and performing alongside the Martha Graham Dance Company was just a once-in-a-lifetime experience.